Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, once I get to sharing my screen, I'm going to go over how I draw trend lines and how I do my technical analysis in the stock market when I'm breaking down stocks and potential swing trade ideas. And I'm going to show you guys how on last weekend's video, we called out NEO for a technical breakout that I will actually use in this live example. So right now it is a beautiful day out. We're going to enjoy the weekend. Um, and while it is the weekend, this doesn't stop me from doing a lot of research. I do a lot of reading on the weekend. I do a lot of catching up on the market um, that I haven't done during the week. And I like to set up my week with a trade plan and certain stocks that I may be looking at. So anyway, I hope that you guys are also enjoying your weekend and um, you know, getting a little rest, relaxation, and then hit the books and hit the books hard, get in the charts and um, do your research for the coming week ahead. So anyway, that's the video. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay guys, so I'm sharing my screen uh, for you here. This is NEO, okay? This is the stock that I'm gonna show you how to draw in trend lines and how to predict movements of a stock for a swing trade using technical analysis. All technical analysis means is looking at a chart and whether it is support, drawing support lines, resistance lines, or trend lines, and using moving averages or volume or RSI, that is what technical analysis is. Fundamental um, you know, analysis is using actual fundamentals of the company. So earnings reports, uh, PE, um, finances, financial statements, that type of stuff is news. News catalysts uh, will drive stocks. Now, looking at NEO, okay, I made a video last weekend that I went over this for a potential breakout. And um, you guys can go check that video out if you want. It was from last week basically calling this move, okay? Um, I also, you know, before we get started here, go over, check out our Discord um, server. We have a great Discord, great uh, people in there, just awesome material being shared and discussed um, all day long during the trading day. I also let the Discord know about this NEO, this potential NEO setup. Um, so also going to link that in the des description. Uh, check that out. So anyway, today it's the weekend. It's Saturday. We spent the uh, earlier part of the day at the pool. I got some much needed sun, vitamin D. Um, it was great. Really beautiful day out. Um, and enjoyed the pool. Now, let's get right into it because technical analysis can make you a fortune if you do it the right way. So um, I always do my analysis with a longer time frame. okay? So I'll start out at the, with the daily chart. And it's always about a year. Um, I'll start a year out. I want to see a lot of price action um, ahead of the actual move that I'm looking at. So I pull up the year. I have on my chart the 200-day moving average, the 50-day, and the 20-day EMA. Okay? So this is the 200 SMA, the 50 SMA 
and the 200 EMA, if you guys wanted to put that stuff on your daily chart. So then once I do that, I will go down to the 180 um, day, four hour chart. This chart is looked at by most traders. So I like to look at these charts that most other traders are looking at. And what I noticed with NEO last weekend, so seven days ago, I noticed a very clear support level here that I drew out, um, which is around the 34 level. So if we zoom in on this, okay, you want to draw something out that um, hits at least two or three times. If it hits a level three times and bounces, that is very, very, that means that that level is being well-respected and there's a lot of other traders looking at it. Okay, so right here, this happened on, um, I think this was last week at some point, it got a really big bounce off of this level, okay? So this is, I mean, it's so clear that you can risk, if you wanted to take this trade that I showed last weekend, you can risk just below the support. And that's what you'd wanna do. If you wanted to take a trade long for this move, you try to get in as close to support as possible. Wait, watch the level two on these days that it was close to it. Make sure it's holding above it and um, has some volume behind it. So if we back this out now and we go down to a closer time frame, this is actually, let's go to the 90 day. So we went to the year. 180, now we're at 90, and I drew in this descending trend line, okay? With the support here at 34, this is a very bullish, um, very bullish setup. So you had the initial pop up, you had the pullback, the sell off, it's around support, drew the trend line out once again, right? One, two, three, four. It's, it's hitting this level. So you know that a lot of other traders are also looking at this level. It's not just me. It's a lot of other traders. So once it gets so well-respected like this, this is where you want to enter. You want to enter as close to the 34s or 35s as possible in this range. So you can see the range is 34 to 38. So you have roughly a four point um, range right here. You want to get in as close to support on these types of plays as possible. So now if we go and look at the week, once it confirmed and broke through the trend, that was your move right here, okay? So you, if you took the trade on Monday, you could have got in here 35, around 36. It consolidated a little bit for the first two days, broke through the trend line that we had. Let's, I'll back it out for you guys again. Okay, here's the descending trend line. We broke through, held it, and then had a huge move. This is a perfect textbook technical breakout. That's the term that you would use on something like this. This was a technical setup. There was a lot of other traders that were also looking at this setup because it had 
a very clear level of support. Okay, traders love to see that. You had a clear level of support here at 34. You had a descending trend line. You had the range. It was holding up. If it broke this level, that's where um, you know that you're going to get a really nice move. This was a perfect setup. It was called out in the last um, weekend video that I make. So every weekend we make a week outlook video. And in those videos, you can find some really good information. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see in this video, go over, subscribe, join our Discord, hit the like button for me. It really helps out the channel. Um, and, you know, every day we have new videos. So I do my daily trade recaps. Um, I ended up Friday, I ended up a, a little bit, um, you know, in this market, it's been very, very difficult to be consistently profitable. So I give myself a ton of credit. I've only had two red days in the entire month of April, which has been a bloodbath for most day traders. So um, you know, learning how to do technical analysis, learning the overall moves of, of the market and how things work with the market, important price levels, um, you know, you can really, and if you manage your risk well, you can really be on your way to consistently profitable. Just learn those uh, simple things. Technical analysis, how to read charts, and risk management, and um, you can do a lot. Just study a lot, do a lot of reading, and that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and the NEO breakdown, the nice technical breakout that we love to see. And um, I hope that my kids were not too loud in the making of this video. No kids were harmed in the making of this video. Um, and hit that thumbs up for me. Everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will have my weekend outlook video coming up. Take care everyone.